Impact Crew Crowd Concert Extravaganza Part 3X0 Preview. Yay! Okay. Uh, it's gonna be a good one tonight. I hope it is, anyway. Two rows of character. However, you all know, um, one of the reasons why you don't have a back row is the fact that the tablet being like that, my back row doesn't show up. Then the fact that, um, they are paper cutouts trying to draw to scale, but no, are dark enough for you all to see them. I'll try to change that. Hopefully before the last part of the concert. It really needs to be worked on by then. Okay. Feature tonight will be the Empire Pride albums. But Robin Hood Claim the Union. Crocky Croc. Foxes and a Baker Sonian. And Tails from the Empire. On the blue side, we have just the bare necessities for its hits and the grand reopening of Club Wow. Okay, I'll talk about the Empire Fried albums briefly. Um, as I mentioned, Theory is an original character that I came up with. But, he's in a strange situation. In my mind, he's, he's from Disney Earth with possible relations going back as far as Robin. Maybe two generations at the time. <clears throat> and also keep in mind that this was 20 some years prior to Disney coming up with Zootopia, in which Miss Wild was introduced. And there have been fan bases thinking that Nick Wild is related. He might be also. Barry and Nick could be oddly distant cousins or something. It's just kind of hard to put the pieces together considering that theory theoretically shouldn't even exist. It just uh an idea popped in my head when I needed to come up with a new film. But anyway, with the Ron Hood Clang reunion, they were thinking of a way to get back to their roots, uh, find the Disney Nine Ham and Sherwood Forest, and see if it's a nice spot to live. It was a fixer-upper for him because, I mean, in my mind, uh, Nottingham was kind of still isolated from everything, so the, the technology there wasn't exactly up to date. Well, after having a couple of songs of the year, Theory went out to uh, fix that. Modernize the town the best they can. Do things like that. And then, shortly after that, it broke out with this strange idea for some of my characters to help 
third character is in some off the wall idea that, uh, well, you see, she was a Thundercat fan. And I don't know why or how any of those circumstances like that, but somehow the mutants had taken over Jekyll Man and all those guys. I don't know what happened to Mumra. Or at least if she told me, I forgot. So anyway, uh, somehow Theory and his bunch got uh, talked into helping on this adventure. And while there, they end up finding Theory's mom and him. It seems like Jekyll Man made some moves. So, if that wasn't confusing enough, by the time they met back to Nottingham, I don't know what exactly started, but it was kind of the beginning of the Interceptor Chronicle series that she and I wrote. It turned out to be 42 volumes worth of storyline involving theory and his family and some of the other future groups that worked in every once in a while. But uh, that's the main thing behind uh, the run to explain the universe. Now, Crocky came about when uh, Retro and Cyrano wanted to sing lead on at least two songs or do more for the group. So, we start the album with the Pirates in Pajamas play. <laughs> But Sewer Notes Crash during that Ace of Spades Life episode. Who knows if I'll be uh, um, you know how Facebook's going to handle that situation. Uh, I had Retro singing lead on Checks in the mail. No. I think I get him tonight, probably. Other than that, it's mostly theory about the family. Then Tales from the Empire wasn't exactly planned. I was going to go into a great history collection with them when I did. I had several space left at the end of that scene, so I had to uh, get a new album going, you know, fill it. Meanwhile, Balloon Crew was ready for a grand hit, the Bear Necessities Collection, I was going to call it. And the uh, volume 2 being called Bear Necessities Extra Cargo. And then he took a little bit of time out before coming back with the follow-up album. And with that one being called the Grand Reopening of Club Wow, um, some point early in the Interceptor Chronicles, I had a hurricane hit Louie. I don't know why I did that. It's kind of too late to figure that out now. But anyway, when they rebuilt it, they kind of modeled it after Club Wild from the Jungle Book 2 movie. So, um, after their songs during the after party, I'll point out who's who on the back row 
there'll be a whole lot better on them. Some tablet I think if I just pulled them up like I did last time. <sighs> That's everything I have to say. Enjoy the show.